this is the third part and you can see the needle I'm kind of doing the needle like that and you can see the tip of the needle there as it's kind of waving through trying to break up the connective tissue so the connective tissue web is like a lightning bolt that travels through the clouds and it then it strikes the ground uh, that's the only way I can explain it so if you can't explain something by a natural phenomena that you can see witness anywhere in the world it doesn't exist so when you describe anything in the human body it has to be grounded in something that you can see like human behavior dogs behave like dogs cats behave like humans behave like psychopaths all of us all of us are endowed with the exact replica programming um, primal carnivore is within everyone then you have to layer over a thick layer of goodness kindness or the primal will emerge and the primal is exactly equal to that of a, co a freshwater crocodile t-rex once people latch on to you and want to eat you they will not let go until you're dead um, tortured used up um, or, or you're out of money and that's prostitution a father will take a 10 year old put him on the street use him up throw him away and find another one that's us we're the only creatures who do that coronavirus obeys natural order and the idea of fearing what you can't see is witchcraft that's that's bizarre that's charlatan that's witchcraft that's demonic that's satanic that's all of that if you believe a virus can kill you and your neighbor is innocent or a thief is innocent or what I call peas these are fathers who leave the homestead to become a privilege preachers, pastors, popes, physicians prosecutors pundits professors the worst are physicians I'm obligated knowing what I know to stop physicians from being the most cruel demonic, psychopathic cold-hearted killers that we are I was one, one of the best never realizing never realizing every physician is trained to betray mothers for money that's just like prostitution on any account this saved my life so I'll finish this up and I'll leave this in um, I don't know for how long depends on how I'm going to push it up a little further and you can see it's it's stuck in there these face muscles are like I equate them to hummingbird muscles quick and powerful once they latch they won't let go face muscles are different than uh, running muscles they're just designed differently that's how nature works you don't question it you just dance with it you obey if you don't obey you're a fool there's no exception to the rule and if you're a fool somebody's fooling you using you as food have a good day